Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading with me here today. Um, so this video is going up on Rogue Goddess Tarot, okay? I'm doing a seri series right now going through all of the signs and we're looking at your present and your future energy, okay? So I'm using the Energy Oracle to get a sense of what the collective energy may be, okay? And then I'm using the Tarot to get further details on what that story might look like for you. Um, I'm also going to be using some oracles um, and, uh, yeah, giving you the affirmations from these cards as well as I wrap up each period of time, okay? Um, remember, you know, not every reading's for everybody. Let stuff doesn't apply, let it fly, all that, okay? Um, and feel free to check your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, um, because if, you know, one placement doesn't resonate with you, I know my moon is Sagittarius. I watch a lot of Sagittarius readings. Sometimes if Pisces doesn't ring for you, um, one of your other placements might. Okay. So let's get started. All right. So the main energy that you may currently be in, we have happy family. Okay. So this has a sort of 10 of cups vibe, uh, to it. There, this feels like very foundational. Pisces, I feel like you are probably in a place right now of really considering what family means to you, thinking about whatever your happily ever after is supposed to look like. And I feel like it's really, you're really prioritizing that dream at this period of time is what I'm seeing here. Um, you may have come through a difficult time to get here and it may be that you have had to shuffle things quite a bit and sort of take a difficult the sand on here I just immediately got that um a flash of what it's like to walk on a sandy beach right sometimes when the sand's kind of wet you feel like you're um sort of where it's working against you as you're going there you know it's slipping out from under you it's also giving you kind of like some resistance um so let's take a look this is gorgeous because it's a really beautiful, happy ending. I'm using the Tarot of Mystical Moments and I will be clarifying with the Uncommon Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Whether you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Take a look at your other placements and other kinds of readings that I've done. See if you feel like you can hang out with me on the regular. I'd love to read for you again. Let's see. And all of my supporters. Oh, y'all are the best strength. Hell yes, you're strong, Pisces. Hell yes, you are. There might be a... Uh, maybe a Leo person. You have some other signs showing up here, too. You have some Libra. Hmm. Okay. What I'm wanting to tell you, I'm getting a couple different stories, and I'll, I'll try and give them all to you, okay? I feel like, Pisces, that the Pisces, the part of the collective that this is for, are people who had to make a very quick exit from something that was incredibly draining, um, that you knew was full of deceit, it was full of manipulation, um... And it was like you had to make out of there with whatever you had left because it was going to consume whatever you had left. I don't know if that means kids. I don't know if that means that you left a home, that you left a relationship, you left maybe a school setting, a work setting, something like that. There was something here that feels like it was... I just got swallow you whole. Wow. Then with the Knight of Swords, I feel like through communicating or writing especially, uh, there's something here that could have been a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius person. We have more Libra here, right? There was something that got you out of there. You may have written someone for help. Um, you may have had to write or email different services or different things, something to get you out of this. Um, for some of you, this is that you had to turn a really quick back on it. This might have been someone who you were involved with, who was very, very direct, very um, impulsive, 
and um, they they mean what they say, but they don't always know the impact of their words. They're kind of brash, and um, I'm just playing rude, honestly. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Okay, now this is what you're moving away from, so that's good. Um, the way that this story looks like it's unfolding, Queen of Cups coming back into yourself, Pisces, you showing up. Um, this Queen of Cups is holding a seahorse here, so this makes me think children. For some of you, there might have been children that you brought with you. For others, this is sort of like your dreams or the life that you knew you wanted to keep. Your social circle may have been very much involved in helping with this, okay? So you could have had friends who were aiding you in things here. Um, helping to get you out of situations that were difficult. Like maybe giving you the, the lead on a new job or um, maybe it was friends who helped you figure out like, okay, there's this situation isn't any good and they waited for you or they helped you get out of whatever this was here. Sort of built you up, I'm seeing here. Three of Cups is a card of like community and celebration and friends and all of these kind of things that are just like really, really fun and good. So it feels like there's um, a bit of a, a sense there, right, of things coming around you. And then we have justice. So I feel like justice being served um, in some way is where you're at now. Now it might be that you're looking to pursue justice being served in this matter. Um, this could be that you're just, you know, if it's not as dramatic as, say, like leaving a dangerous situation, um, if you were leaving like a work situation or something like that, like you could be now pursuing a career in justice in law um, somewhere, maybe in the courts, social work, I don't know, something like that. Um, but this feels like you're now, for a lot of you, everything is about the what's fair, what's right, what's just. It's You're more centered around what's just than anything else. What is a just, fair, and good thing to be doing? Seven of Swords. Got six of coins, seven of coins. Okay. So this seems like... Hmm. What I want to tell you here, Pisces, is that there was something here that was draining you. You, I think, were being... I mean, six of coins... Often it's reciprocity, but it's not. I just got drained. Like, that's what I got drained. Drained. Eaten alive. <laughs> kind of weird. Okay. So, someone may have been very much taking, um, putting a lot of responsibilities on yourself, not really, like, pulling their own weight. And it feels like you put a lot of effort into making things work with this person, work for this person. Um, and... It feels like they, they really took advantage and it wasn't what you got out of it wasn't anything even close to what was fair here Pisces um, so let's see what's this knight of swords king of cups so we have a divine counterpart type situation so for some of you I feel like countering this sort of brash rude energy there may have been someone who was very kind who is very calm and quiet, um, who is a good listener, someone who was there for you and was able to um, listen to the, what you had to say, how your feelings were, why you were trying to like work things out in this situation. Um, they're very supportive energy. For some of you, this was this could be a romantic interest, a coworker. Um, for some, the King of Cups is like a counselor or therapist. Um, so it feels like there was something like that that came in and. As you were sort of trying to rush out of this thing, there was someone in here who was like a rock and at least someone that you were able to go to um, who, even if they cared very deeply, may not be the type that really kind of shows it. They really hear you out and they come back with maybe some logic, some fairness, um, steps to take, you know, here's the thing, here's some rational advice. It's a very loving, loving kind of energy here. Let me see. This person could also, your reaction to this air sign energy, I feel like, may have conjured in your mind. It's almost like you you could have started manifesting a King of Cups energy, like counterpoint to this Queen of Cups energy that's already here. So regardless of your sex or gender or who you're attracted to, um, 
it feels like something about your reaction to that air energy um, made you want to start making something new here. Yes. So then there's the movement. Okay. So movement, eight of wands, victories, movements, maybe even conversations and talk. It feels like there was a lot of stuff sort of in the works and moving, a lot of different moving parts and things that had to move all in a certain direction. Um, it was probably very heartfelt, very difficult. You probably had to show yourself a lot of compassion during this time because it was very, very swift. Um, sorry, you might hear my radiators. <laughs> There's a bit of a blizzard going on right now, so um, they're, you know, trying to keep us all warm here. There is... There was some kind of medicine in this for you, um, Pisces. And I don't know if that means like an actual medicine, but it's like there was some kind of, I don't know how else to put it. It's like a life lesson that is like a medicine. It's like it, it was, there was an interaction in a way that you had to care for yourself that was exactly right what you needed. And you may not have known that before, or realized it before, because this thing was trying to, um, whatever this was to you, it was trying to masquerade itself as something that it wasn't. And it took you a little while to kind of figure it out. And then once you did, it was like, oh, no, this is no good, right? <laughs> we don't stand for this kind of thing. So this feels like you kind of soaring on out of there. Um, three of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay, so this really feels like, um, for some of you people from your past, um, maybe co-workers, people that you've known before for a long time, kind of um, were very important in part of this, this sort of celebrating energy. Um, there could have been a gift even that you might have received during this period of time. Someone might have given you something to help you out. Interesting. So it feels like from the way that this is going, you're probably getting back on your feet now and then it's like, okay, now I'm looking forward, you know, Justice the 11, what is happening now? <laughs> what do I do now? What's the next move? Let's see what this Justice says. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're changing things. You're changing things big time. You're moving away from a lot of things. You're going for your, I feel like you're going for your happy family. We'll see three coins. Yeah, there's a lot of collaborative energy in this here, Pisces. Whew, okay, I'm going to give you, before we move on to the next one, I'm gonna give you the, the, um, there's an affirmation for these cards. This is just the guidebook for the energy oracle cards in case you like to move with uh, use, sorry, work with affirmations. It says, I open myself to a new and deeper experience of family and I am ready to see greater happiness there. I know that I am the loving family that I need. Yeah, I feel like this is, you're, you've, incredibly strong Pisces. <laughs> you can, you can make exactly what you want and I feel like this picture of whatever a happy family is for you um, whether that's you and a bunch of friends for life or you and uh, a partner with or without kids, bunch of dogs, you know, living in a city in a high rise or off grid, you know, whatever it is. I feel like you are having gone through this thing. You've now really realized what matters to you and there's a much more clear picture of things. You're moving towards <laughs> the sixth chakra. Archangel Metatron. Okay, so you are probably experiencing some sort of switch on with your third eye, okay? Um, this feels like your vision and your sight, being able to see things very clearly, that's part of what has come about because of this Eight of Cups and Justice energy. There's, you're leaving behind things that are unfair. You're leaving behind things that are deceptive or manipulative. You're not standing for any of that anymore. Um, and you're going to build yourself a friend, a friend circle, a family circle, a soulmate circle, um, a soul circle, you know what I mean? Like people around you, you, I feel like you're very determined to build that for yourself um, because you can see it very clearly. 
Um, you may have had an increase in intuitive hits, visions, dreams, um, things like that. Okay, Pisces. You might have been doing meditations to try and work on your third eye. Let's take a look and see how this looks. Oh my goodness. Okay. I like it. Okay, so the future energy, the energy you're moving into here, Pisces. What's at the bottom here? Hanged man, there's you. There's you, friendo. Okay, so you are unlocking something, unzipping something, right? You're getting right down to all the things underneath that you've been wondering for so long about. Um, the Six of Wands, a victory of some kind, right? I feel like for some of you, whatever this was up here had you almost hiding yourself away in some sense because you were so consumed with like everything that you had to do. Maybe you were working intensely long hours. If you were in a relationship, this was that you just kind of Maybe you went to work, you came home, or you had to, you know, you had to take care of so many responsibilities in this relationship. Um, there's something about this that was like your energy was not being respected um, for how powerful it is. And you're moving forward into this place of increased intuitive awareness, increased vision, um, also being, having, going after something really beautiful. Um, this Eight of Cups energy is following you here so there is a sense of you going on your own path right You've, you're going in your own way you've decided that you are you you're you're empowered enough to make whatever choices or decisions that you need to do here um ten of wands six of pentacles the emperor this shows me that you're ready to complete things i love this particular six of pentacles because it shows how I, I like to see this little guy here who's on top of the teapot as almost like a spirit guide. And we have two figures having tea and it feels like this little figure is advising you here, Pisces, that you need to fill your own cup first and then we share, okay? <laughs> it's my cup first and then we share. Um, this is very fair and balanced and equal very beautiful and then we have the emperor so this is a bossing up energy <laughs> this is taking charge of things uh this is aries energy it's cardinal energy um you may very well there could be an aries person here you could get a promotion you could start your own business be an entrepreneur um but this is you really taking the lead in life and it's gorgeous. It feels like you might be um, orchestrating something, maybe supervising a bunch of different people. It feels like for some, even if it's like you create this sense of sort of happy family for yourself, it's um, something where you're almost like the figurehead in a way. Like you're not, you don't control everybody, but they trust you, right? They trust because of your experience, um, all the things that you've done before everything you, you can do afterwards let's take a look at the six of wands this is victory and the emperor beautiful 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 i love it okay so there could be an emperor person involved um maybe an aries person but this is about having a plan it feels like the whatever plan that you're making here it feels like eight of cups you understand that things have to be left behind here to have things be fair equal and just in your life and then you are bossing up to you're getting a planet and it feels like it's paying off whatever that plan is it's it's showing you the way to something right because we have this flower here with the hummingbird it's like it's showing you the way to something that actually really pays off for you really nice energy let's look at the eight of cups page of wands so you could have a fire sign person aries leo sagittarius um they'd be a younger person this could very well just be i mean pisces the pages are about us at different stages in our life and different stages of development on certain paths. And so this is a passion path. This is a, a path of uh, adventure, of not knowing what's next, of deciding to kind of fly by the seat of your pants and kind of go with it, you know? Um, page of Wands energy, it's very exciting. 
And this feels like you're very excited for where this is going to take you. You may have to still um, dip back and pay attention to the things that you're walking away from. Okay. There are certain probably emotional patterns or um, people, places, things, whatever that you understand to have the future that you want in the most just, fair, and um, the best way for you, the best moral way for you. And you know that you have to let those things go. And so it looks like future you is really excited to to get going. Um, there's some wins that you're getting here, which look really awesome. And, you know, it, sometimes the old stuff creeps up. I don't think this is you making a misstep. I feel like it's you being very intentional about thinking about those, those eight of cups, those cups you're walking away from. Uh, Ten of wands, a completion, right? <laughs> I love it. The hanged one. You're done waiting around. Holy moly. Holy moly. I feel like you are really done sacrificing yourself for others. Ten of Wands is a card of burdens. Yeah, I feel like you're done sacrificing yourself for other people. It's something that you've learned. There was a certain path that you went down. And for whatever reason, it you know, it, it happened. Whatever is in the past, we don't have time machines to go back and change. But you learned a lot and you're no longer sacrificing yourself for other people. That's not happening. You're not you're, like there's a cer certain things that are like, OK, I'll, I'll surrender to the divine. Sure, fine. But that doesn't mean that we become doormats. Right. And I feel like you've really learned that um, that difference. You're taking some actions that are different now. Six of Pentacles, let's look at this. The chariot, right? <laughs> like you could be a cancer person. Um really, really beautiful. You're making some really big decisions with the major arcanas that are coming out here. Are any of these majors? No, those are not majors. You've already had three down here. Four. Five. <laughs> you have one up there. So it's like in your present, you're your day-to-day -day life is very much a sort of like the events you have to deal with and the people you have to deal with and all these things, right? Getting it kind of, getting you to this major arcana energy, this um, really important justice moment, right? Where you realize what you have to let go of. This um, reciprocal energy, it really propels you forward in a really meaningful and swift way. And you're really, you're taking charge of things. This is a card of someone who is very, very, they're a leader, they are self-determined. They're going. They're going. You can't you can't stop this person. Oh, uh, they have this star right above their head. This is making me feel like there's something to do with um Archangel Metatron, six chakra stuff. That might be of importance to you here. Tell me about this emperor. Queen of Cups. Possibly love. Um, water sign energy, Pisces. This feels like for some of you, there could be a, a connection there that's really important to you. What I'm feeling here is that you get a plan. Um, this feels like you're just very, um, you're taking control, but you're also having a very loving aspect to yourself. It's like I'm... I'm taking control, I'm taking the reins, I'm moving on, I'm choosing, filling my cup first before I'm doing anything for anyone else. And that could come to you through an intuition, a vision, a dream, something like that. Something to do with your, your third eye. And then it's like you're like you're an amazing leader, but you're also a loving, kind, and compassionate leader. But you are by no means a doormat. You are by no means like anybody's fool. You, you still listen to your intuition. You trust your gut. Oh, it feels so good, Pisces. This feels so good. Whatever this was that happened up here, it's like it taught you, six of ones again, victory, sorry. It taught you how to really see people. It taught you how to really, really see them more honestly than they can probably even see themselves. I'm going to give you that affirmation, and then I'm going to give you a truth and a lie for each of these periods of time. So the sixth chakra says clarity of thought and your personal vision. So now's the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. You're done waiting, honey. This is my sixth chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. My personal vision guides me and my thoughts are peaceful and clear. Okay. And finally, can we get... I want a truth and a lie for the present energy, please. And then a truth and a lie for the future energy. So these could manifest as thoughts or feelings, self-limiting beliefs, things that you might, um, that might pop into your head and that you might recognize as you're moving into the future energy. This could, if you find yourself having a thought like this, you could be able to say, oh, okay, maybe this is a sign that I'm actually moving into the second one, right? So let's take a look here. <laughs> okay, so we have trust and wintergreen. This is a essential oils deck. So wintergreen might have some significance to you. Um, you might want to look up the maybe magical uses, folk medicine uses of wintergreen. There might be something significant about it for you, okay. Um, the trigger statement, <laughs> Or sort of like the the lie here says, what if something happens? <laughs> of course, what if something happens? There is there's a lot of sort of deceit. There's worry. Um, there's a lot of that here. That could be a part of what you're walking away from, Pisces. And then the true statement says, I take my hands off the wheel. Oh, heck yes. It says, you are not alone. The universe is working with you. Relax and enjoy the adventure. Heck yes, beautiful, beautiful. It feels like something here is really propelling you forward. And in your future energy, let's see. I like how they're the same color. This happened to another sign as well. So we have expel, okay. And the trigger citronella, again, you might wanna look up the uses, the meaning, the symbolism. Um, it says, I am being invaded. And the true statement is, I am pure. It says, as you align with the frequency of peace, the invasions from outside yourself and dissonance within are neutralized. So this feels like you may have a particular sensitivity. Um, you could have a lot of be a really empathic person. You could have a lot of sort of third eye sensitivity, what we would call that, right? You could be very sensitive to other people's energies. That could have been part of what kind of contributed to this situation up here, okay? Um, and this is telling you that you're going to be able to keep your energy for yourself. Um, yeah, absolutely. Being at peace and that other people and outside influences as you're embracing this adventure here, right, with this, this Page of Wands energy, it's going to be less and less of a conflict, less and less of a struggle. Beautiful, Pisces. This is what I got for you this time. I hope there was something in here that's helpful to you. Um, feel free to stick around, watch your sun, moon rising, watch your other signs. Um, Oh man, I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already. If you're from my Pisces only channel, hey, hi, how are ya? Um, thanks for coming by to support the second channel. I really appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, anyway, I lots of love you guys. Take care of yourself, stay, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.